Today I'm with Dr. Jen, the renowned pediatrician from New York City and creator of the Baby Bundle app. And we're going to be finding out about the fever frenzy. Um, fever is scary. I'm a parent, I have four kids, and I wanted to ask you, when my kids get fevers, I really start to worry that something really serious is going on. What do you say about people worrying about fevers? So I get this a lot, and I think that's one of my biggest... Uh, concerns that parents have in my practice is the fever. So I'm always right. talking them off the fence about the fever. Fever is just a symptom. It is not a disease or a condition or an illness. It's just one of the symptoms. So more important is what does your child look like? Are they happy are they, or are they really irritable? That means more than how high the temperature is. Okay, so you, for example, one of my kids was sick. He had 103 temperature, mm -hmm. but he seemed totally fine to me. <laughs> he was like, absolutely fine. Was it bad that I didn't seem that concerned? No, that was great. That okay, was really good. that was good. Right? Yeah. Yes, I'm not so a if parent. If, no, no, you're okay. Okay. So they're eating, they're drinking, they're running around, they're yeah, playing. Yeah, totally fine. That's great. You but don't he can't go to school. It. He can't go to school because he is contagious with right. the fever. But he's okay. He let his body do the work. You know, okay. actually germs and um, infections don't like to live at those higher temperatures. And that's why our body goes up to those higher temperatures. So if they're feeling fine and they're not cranky, um, there's no need to give a fever reducer. Now, what about if they have a lower fever, say 101? But they're totally lethargic, not looking good, so it's less than my other son, but he seems to be not acting as healthily. So that's when you call the doctor. You okay. definitely want to see what's going on. You can definitely try a fever reducer. Um, it will also help pain too and see if they're feeling any better. But then you may need a trip to the doctor to see what's going on. It could be an ear infection that needs to be treated or a strep throat or something like that. So again, it's not the height of the fever. It's more the overall picture of what's going on with your child that's important. So that's the whole treat the child, not the fever. Exactly. I like that. Okay. All right. Now, what about a newborn, though? Because newborns, you're told that for a newborn, if their temperature is over 100.1, no, 100.4. .4. Okay. If it's over 100.4, then what do I do? Then, well, you don't panic. But you, <laughs> so do, like, ah! you do call your pediatrician or your healthcare provider, and the baby does need to be seen. Because we have to remember, they are still, um, their immune system is still um, developing, and uh, we need to really examine them. They can't tell us what's wrong with them, how they're really feeling. So usually at that time, um, more tests need to be done. Okay, now 100.4 is a pretty, I mean, it's a pretty accurate number. Right. And taking a temperature can be tricky. I know rectal temperatures are probably the most accurate, but what do you think about taking temperatures? Like, should we be so obsessed with doing it? Right, so when a baby, again, a newborn baby, a rectal temperature is probably the easiest. They're just laying there, um, and it's probably easy to do with a rectal digital thermometer. And it it's not as bad as the same. Like, I was like, oh my goodness, but it just goes in just a right. little bit. Not when, far. Exactly. Just a little bit. <laughs> when they're older, though, Again, you know, really, you're just trying to get an idea. Do they have a fever if they're sick? You can use an ear thermometer. Um, it's totally fine. Again, yes, you'll probably do two different readings and you'll get two different things. But again, the exact number, if you ask most pediatricians, it's really not that important. Okay, so we're going to treat the child, not the fever. It was a newborn, which is under 12 weeks, right? Yes. 100.4 needs to be seen. And really, it's about you knowing your kid, whether you think there's something wrong or Trust not. Trust your instincts. Trust your instincts. <laughs> can do it. Thanks, Dr. Jen. You're welcome. Follow me at Rosie Pope for more useful information or go to rosiepope.com. And if you have ideas for videos you want me to make, just let me know.